Welcome back to Conspiracy Outpost Feast and Famine, the Fall of Medinvard. This is a probably still not really D&D podcast where we play a slick homebrewed, customized system thrown together by me, your host, Nate Nasty. Our world is set in an age of decline, like the fall of Rome, where the land of Medinvard is slowly falling into a state of decay. Our four fortuitous freebooters fight foul phantasms and fiscally deficit fledglings. On their fitful flight through the fateful forces, in effect... They are ever-growing, ever-changing, and we love them all. Would you mercenaries care to introduce yourselves? <clears throat> I'm Dagger Scottouch, and I love cheese, ale, and a look in a man's eyes when he knew that, that he took his last breath and my knife took permanent resident in his jugular. Ooh. I don't know I'm going <laughs> to top that there, but... <laughs> <laughs> my name's Edgar Nolan. I'm a volatile mixologist. I like to see the way things tick and how I can use it in my advantage. I don't know. I'm John Gilmore, a scarred monk of Miser's Mercenary College, the first place that has truly felt like home to me. But I fear I may have to leave after committing to disobeying Nisby's orders in order to do what's right. Wilton here. Wilton Bonecrag. You know your neighborhood spade slayer. Anyways, I've learned I can connect with Leonardo Tricapio from a distance. Now it's my time to become one with the tree. <laughs> in the last episode, the gang bought some goods in the town square of Stovehurst, where Edgar Nolan romantically heisted a transsexual herbalist for ingredients <laughs> to mutate his body. Um, Daigle Scott Hatch scared away a questy boy, got drunk at the saddled sister, and freed an indentured servant named... Lenny. Um, John, Gil <laughs> John Gilmore killed the child. Uh, for more details, go listen to Last Pot again because holy shit. Um, and he also found the Scarred Brotherhood's operatives uh, such as Claymore who live in Snowfirst. Uh, the gang also learned of another strange mystical tree not far from here. When Wilton Bonecrag reached out to it, the man bonded with it. Brent of the High Oaks could sense him. How will our mercenaries... Uh, do the rest of their quest. What is right? What is wrong? Will they go with Grin? Will they go with Brent? Will they go with Clymore? Will they go fuck themselves in the dungeon? Find out today. That that was beautiful, Nate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was enthralled. And we begin today's... Uh, so in the night... Uh, a few of the uh, Scarred Brotherhood operatives uh, from their uh, their small safe haven down in the sewers beneath Stovehurst managed to find Daigle Scott Hatch wandering drunk above ground and brought him back to the camp. Um, now the four of you are together in the sewers. Um, the night has passed, or, well, it is still the night, and... Uh, Okay, <laughs> you, so you all fell asleep in the stink of the sewers, and now um, Mr. Bonecrag is experiencing one of his uh, routine uh, tree-contacting dreams in which he's looking at the night sky. He's looking at the silhouetted frame of, uh, of Miser's Keep, uh, Miser's Peak, and the, uh, the castle on it in the light of the full moon. Um, and yeah, you're just feeling the pulsing of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do? <laughs> I deep throat a branch dream. now. Uh, <clears throat> so I can see, might as well speak. Yes, it's in the far distance. It's a silhouette. Silhouette. Can I see anything else around besides? Actually, yeah. When you focus your uh, your 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 vision around, you can see oddly in like 360 degrees all at once. And uh, when you look downward away from the sky, you see that there are actually some some. It looks like there's some people sitting at the base of the tree. Uh, there's three people in cloaks. One of them is very small, and two of them are are like average sized. Can I move the branches? Yes. Okay, you, wait, so you're going to try to move the branches? Yeah, I want to poke them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so almost like 
like trying to break in like a, a like like a new if you feel as if you've grown new arms now and uh, sort of that tingly sensation of when your arm falls asleep is like spreading through the branches of this tree as you feel your senses uh, spread into the branches from the core because you've always just been in the core of the tree and you can feel the branches begin to move downwards and uh looking up from the uh from the ground uh you see the hood slide back, and you see a clean, bony, skeletal head looking up at you from inside of the cloak. That's my friends. <laughs> can I can I communicate with them at all? You can try. What would you like to do? I don't know. I don't know if the tree can talk. Can I talk? Yeah, just describe how you would like to tr- you know try doing it. What do you want to do? You just want to talk? Yeah, just just normal just talk. What do you want to say? My skeleton friends, how goes it? <clears throat> the they look up they look up at you and uh they stare and uh, one of them reaches up and like and touches the branch and you can just feel like this you feel like this energy kind of like rush into the branch. And uh, a name flashes uh, through your mind. Uh, Nalara. Can I sense anything else from these guys? Um, so you sense a feeling of, like, well-being. Oh, nice. I knew and also want. Skeletons. They want to raise their bone army for me, huh? Bone guards. <laughs> bone guards. <laughs> Um, can I can I pick them up into the tree and just let them chill on my branches? <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, you slowly crane down the metallic branches, which uh, as they move, kind of make the sounds of like twisting metal and also like a ting ping sounds. And uh, you're able to uh, lower your branches to them, and uh, all but the littlest one uh, climb up. So the, uh, the the two elder ones, they stand up with their feet on your branches, and you can see them like looking off into the distance from from your branches, and they point off to the east. Is that where we're at? Yes. Okay, I wasn't sure what direction we were in. Um, I don't know. Do they want to go that way? <laughs> you focus your th- uh, the thoughts to your mind. Um, Do they just? Uh, well, can I just like raise them up and like? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, as you as you say, like uh, you're asking them if they want to go that way. Um, you can see one of them uh, shakes their head no, <clears throat> and they point in and they point up north uh, northwest. Did the skeleton burp like that too before he leaves? Like <laughs> <laughs> skeletons don't burp; they only fart. Yeah. <laughs> they fart. Facts. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they they point to the northwest, and I'm gonna let you go. So so you can look at the map online, and I'll let you just kind of determine what you think about these things. Um, so if you go on the map and you look like just south of Miser's Keep. Mr. Bonecrag, if you look at the uh, uh, Miser's Peak and you scroll down, there's like that three-way intersection of road. Um, yeah. Just not far from that area is where the tree is. Oh, nice. Like, actually, you see that tree on the map that's just south of it? Yeah. Let's just say it's there. Um, so he pointed he pointed to the, uh, oh, sorry, I said east earlier, but he, they pointed to the west, um, to where you guys are in Stovers, and they por- pointed northwest. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and what was your question, Edgar? I was because since we're all in, instead of me sleeping, can I just be doing my eye thing? Because I never got around to doing that. Or oh, that absolutely. Let's let's let's, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I just wanted to, I just want to squeeze that in there somewhere. So yeah, <laughs> so I can have if that. If you want, to, so I can describe you doing this, or you can describe you doing this. Like it's really just flavor, man. So, what what would you like? I'd rather have you explain it because you have such a way with words, as Sandy Cheek put it, and uh, so eloquent. <laughs> it's SpongeBob. <laughs> 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 
Um, so yeah, okay. So Edgar finds his way into a SpongeBob corner of the sewers. He finds his way into a corner of the sewers and uh, uh, sets up his little station with his uh, his traveling alchemy kit. He pulls out test tubes. He pulls out an alembic. He pulls out a boiler. He pulls out various powders and strange husks and substances obtained from the uh, transsexually heisted at the herbalist shop. I'm gonna keep saying it like that. And uh, he. <clears throat> is now uh, throwing these ingredients together into a single boiling beaker. Uh, it reduces down to a black and green sludge, which he then ingests and uh, begins twitching horribly on the ground. I'm assuming you did this when everybody else was asleep. You're probably yeah. alone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so Kate, so right now, uh, Wilton is like halfway across the map in a tree talking to skeletons, and you're twitching on the <laughs> ground, mutating, and your other friends are just sleeping. Um, uh, so what what is your mutation? Why don't you tell us about it? You awaken with uh, like strongly distorted, like your pupils are now enormous. Your eyes are almost entirely black with just like a thin area of white around the, the outside. And yeah, you now have uh, plus two to perception checks and uh, you can see in the dark. So yeah, you, you notice that when you're in the sewer now, there are some, like torches in the camp, but now it looks like the rest of the sewer is just lit by torchlight. You can just see down the halls as if you were, in, you know, in a, in a hall. Does, does, <laughs> above he a, does, does he have a light sensitivity like to regular daylight now? To, uh, okay, so here's how it works. It's especially bright light. So, uh, okay. All right. So where, where were we? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Cut back in. Um, so Edgar <laughs> Nolm's uh, twitching on the floor. Wilton Bonecrag is miles away in the heart of his tree with uh, two skeletal figures in robes uh, resting upon his branches uh, pointing towards the northwest. Um, Are you pointing to Cedars Pass? They uh, they they shake their heads no. What else is there? Grog's maid. They shake their heads no. The old Mary Springs. <laughs> one of one of them goes, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then no, kind of like cocks its shoulders like maybe, but then no. The only other city I know that way. What about Fort Dulac? They shake their head no. You bastards. <clears throat> mm, Northwest. What about the Gilmore's Keep? I like say no. West, but... <sighs> you can feel, uh, you can see that the sun is beginning to come up and that you have a, a short time left inside of your tree. Oh, shit. What about, what's that? Heavedarv's Mount. How do you say that? <laughs> oh, Hedvar, Hedvar's Mount. Hedvar's um, Mount. They say they 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 go no, and they like just they they're just like repeatedly pointing out there to the northwest as you feel yourself being sucked out of the tree. Um, uh, sucking me dry. <laughs> and uh, you feel it feels as if you collapse into nothing through a vortex, and then like reappear like behind your eyelids as you wake up in the morning. Um. <sighs> All right. And as you wake up, you, uh, uh, all of you, as you all wake up, uh, Climor is, uh, sitting there and he's, t he's tending a, uh, a, a small, like, uh, ooh, excuse me. He's, uh, he's tending a, 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 a small cauldron filled with, uh, burning coals. And over top of it, he's cooking up some meat. Um, and it looks like most of the camp has vacated. Uh, there's only two other scarred brothers that remain. I'm walk up. Wait, am I am I am walking? Uh, am I able to walk again, or am I still? Oh yeah. Okay. No, you're. Just, yeah. Now it's now it's morning time, so you wake up. You're you're okay. I just passed out after it. twitching. <laughs> <laughs> I just walk up to everybody and act like everything's normal, even though I got these big ass black people. <laughs> now I'm just like, hey guys. <laughs> Herbs are like morning. Nice eyes, Edgar. What's up with your fucking eyes? 
I can see everything now. Are you sick? <laughs> are you going? <laughs> the fuck you take? What are you on? <laughs> the fuck did you take? Can are I you flash on something? My eyes at Edgar? Oh yeah. <laughs> what did you see? Yeah. I, I flashed my eyes at you. You see the uh, blue oh. and purple swirl in his eyes as he looks at you. This look a lot. What cooler, the fuck? Yeah. This what look kind a lot of club is now. this? Are you both on something? Is the fucking tree? Are you a tree man too? You're a fucking tree man, Edgar, aren't you? No, I'm not. Because everything I did didn't come from space. <laughs> <laughs> is that from that witchcraft you've been practicing, huh? It's not witchcraft. It's, it's science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know the difference. I'm just saying. The fuck? So we, we, I mean, you can you, feel free. What are you doing to yourself? Why are you mutilating yourself? <laughs> Climor, as you say, uh, why are you mutilating yourself? Climor goes, <clears throat> um, and he says, uh, you guys are welcome to breakfast. He says, uh, I hope you don't mind dog. <laughs> oh, my favorite. Fuck. Am I the only man here? Everyone else is fucking some kind of subspecies of sort. <sighs> so I'm just a, I'm a person. I'm just a fucked up one. Yeah, barely. <laughs> You're definitely <laughs> fucked up, but barely a person. Climore says, oh, "That's you, that's nice to say in this in this place. You, you should probably as, keep it down." <laughs> as you say, as you wait, after you say you're fucked up, Climore says, "You're you're not fucked up." He says, "Your body's just been changed <laughs> for the better, too." <laughs> but I don't know. It felt kind of fucked up when it happened. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Not gonna lie about that. It's hard getting it where you get to. You probably could. You probably couldn't sit down for a week or two. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck off, Daigle. <laughs> Am I the only normal person here? <laughs> Apparently, what is this Daigle, there's nothing normal about that mouth. Now let's get. Our, now let's get our dog. <laughs> <laughs> let's get our dog on. All right, I'm starving. <laughs> you guys you mean hot down. dog, right? <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> I, I, do have, I do have. I do have food rations. If you guys just want to eat, you know, not. I have what bone crags having. I, 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 they're I'll a human meal. Because they're like y'all. Okay. I'm still a human. Bone crag. If you don't mind sharing a plate with me. Let me do a quick Google search. I I throw. You gotta see how dogs prepared. <laughs> I throw Daigle a, a ration. <laughs> Get the recipe. There you go, Daigle. Thank you, tree man. I bet they taste a lot like lamb. Oh yeah, it's a yeah. So it's a it's quite fatty. Uh, it tastes like a cross between beef and mutton. Yeah. Not bad. Mm. Tastes like it would go good with a red wine. Probably. Ooh, like wine? I, Mike, wine. I feel like you knew that way too quick. What, that it probably tastes like lamb? <laughs> it looks like it's kind of like a lamb. Mikey's Rack have, like, of dog. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you feast upon the uh, the dog. And Climore tells you a little story about how uh, uh, this dog just like fell into the sewer uh, a few days ago. And its legs broke, so they decided to eat it. Um, Smart. So... Turn it out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's a you guys are like not too far from one of the 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 sewer openings like where there's a, a manhole cover and you can see a very tiny like pin prick of light coming down as uh the 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 sun is rising overhead on the street level. Um Climor uh Climor uh, begins like scraping out the coals and and putting them out into the uh, shit water, which creates a uh, bit of a shit steam. It stinks like shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh god! <laughs> and uh, he asks you. Um, he says, uh, "Oh, to to John." He says, "Well, the brother, uh, the uh, the other brothers have been sent out to Miser's Keep to convene with Hobart. Uh, these other three will remain here with me." And you, um, he says, uh, tell, tell me a little bit more about, uh, about what we're, what we're doing here. Have you decided how you want to handle this? Um, I think we should just walk to the front gate and introduce ourselves, to be honest. Sounds like a crazy plan, but it's simple. He says, that's, that sounds like a good idea. We'll just have to be stealthy in how we, uh, 
how we get out of uh, the town. Yeah. Isn't like, there... Obviously, I can't be seen with you guys until we're yeah. outside the gates. Can we get out through the sewers? He says the sewers can get us pretty close. They can get us... Uh, there, there is a, a place where the uh, the iron mines uh, touch into the sewers, an access tunnel that goes into the iron mine. So that'll get us halfway through. But there will be guards on the on the outside of the mines. Well, us four might be able to just walk out. I mean, we're supposed to be going there anyways. We were mm-hmm. hired to, and we got kind of got you know, current blanche to walk through the the city because of misers. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Jeez. I need to figure out how me and the brothers are going to get out. But uh, if you'd just like to reconvene in the, uh, in the tree line outside of town, that, that would, we, can, we can find our way. Yeah, I think that'd probably be best. Uh, I don't know. Daigle found out quite a bit of information last night. He was at the bar. Maybe he found out something. Ooh, do you want to do a roll, Daigle? Scroll of the night. He was talking. Yeah. He was talking it Good up idea. with guards and stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, add your charisma. Yeah, because you because you uh, cute. plus one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah. Uh, wait. So <laughs> for him to find out what exactly? Just to see if there's uh, you know, places where the guards aren't going or something like that. Just talking it up with people, seeing if there's any ways out. Or 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 like important okay. deliveries going in or out of town, you might be able to smuggle in. So yeah, one of the one of the one of the drunk guards uh, did mention that the. Oh wait, let me try to picture where this is. Oh, I don't have to. I have a map. Um, the <laughs> uh, the eastern wall is is like that is facing the Madrasartis ruins. Uh, uh, typically doesn't even have guards over the top of it. So somebody could scale the wall there. Hmm. Yeah, Those so, are the best at scaling. Uh, are they, I, was, I was talking with other, the, other blokes over there, and they're saying uh, something about the eastern eastern wall. They don't even they have no one there. They don't watch it. They don't even care about it. It's just it's some silly nonsense. But, you know, it's not like this place is ever, you know, Caesar or anything. So, you know, they just get paid for nothing. And if there are guards over there, they're just drunk off their arse. They don't care. <laughs> okay, he says, uh, he says, that sounds like some pretty good intel. He says, we'll go with that. We'll try, we'll scale the east wall. Well, I guess we got ourselves a plan then. He said, very well. Um, well, if you guys can just walk out, you don't even have to worry about the iron mines. You can just go through the southern gate. We'll route back uh, and meet you at the forests. Um, I don't know exactly where Brent of the High Oaks is, though. I just know that he's south of here uh, uh-huh. in this uh, this place that used to be called the Deepwood. I'd find him. I'm like a bloodhound with these things. Um. Wilton, did did we did we see the uh you said you would you could find him. Right? And then you did that thing where you looked in on him? Yeah. I, I it showed I'm pretty sure we, I knew the way. Okay. You at least know the general area, right? Oh yeah, so Wilton can feel uh now yeah, oh, so yeah. you realized this yesterday. When you focus <laughs> on it, on the uh, the presence of the tree, you can feel it like a magnetism. So you yeah, you just have to be using it. Um, so are we are we embarking on our quest? Peace. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm gonna get okay. going, but first I'm gonna take out my rum. It gives everybody some for some luck. Oh, my yeah, my last ah. skin of rum that I have. Nice some rum luck there. I want some yeah. other skin that you got too. <laughs> this is uh this is some of Hobart's like like fine rum, right? Yeah, this is some that Hobart gave me. This is good. Yeah. I figured the scarred brethren would appreciate it. Hey, John. Nate, I got all my John, stuff on here. Do you want to take a swig of your rum and eat half this Mount Floral with me? Hey, what I'll the fuck? on that bullshit. <laughs> oh, Climor, Climor oh, takes uh, you know, a swig of the rum 
and uh, you can see you can see like like almost like a little like a tear almost comes to his left <laughs> eye and uh, he wipes it away he wipes it away quickly and he says brings back memories it's going to be good to see the rest of the gang and he he gives you a he gives you like one of those like heavy like forearm uh forearm to forearm grabs and uh, pats <laughs> you on the back and he says, I'll see you outside the walls. And they begin like running down the uh the opposite side of uh you can see they're they're basically running like north through the yeah. uh, sewers away from you guys. <laughs> it's like damn they're in a hurry. I I I guess we should go too. <laughs> Huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> We're off. And we're off. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm climbing out. I said, I guess we should get going. I expected someone to usually Daigle says something, but yeah, yeah. I'm climbing on out. Gotta okay. I'm going to try to check if the coast is clear before I exit. Before, if I can. Are we mm-hmm. going to be walking above ground when we go? Uh, we're fine to this place. Yeah. yeah I'm I mean, just, yeah, I'm okay. just wondering, cause I still got to get my mule. I can't. You can try board. finding your way through the sewers to the, uh, the entrance to the iron mines, or you could go above ground and walk through town. I was is, just going to um, go above ground. I I'll, was just I'll concerned go, yeah. about my mule. That's why. Does everything your on this mule. thing automatically yeah. save? I, I, oh, your I'll, mule's tied up at the bar, isn't it? Yeah. I don't, we know. Should I don't know where he's at. Yeah, he's not in the sewer. <laughs> he's tied up at the bar. I, oh, you yeah, paid we, a guy. You paid a guy to take care of your mule. Um, oh. Didn't you? Wait. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> we could have. I, I know that we left on we foot up. from the palace. So Fucking... Drunk your mule, damn mule. <laughs> your mule is tied up outside, out, out in front of the palace. Uh, it's at the stables at the palace uh, that are outside the, pa- the palace. Oh, cool. Then he can just, I guess, stay there unless we need. Well, do we need. We, we, uh, we might not be coming back. All right. You know, we'll we, we could. We'll go grab us mule. not killing him could piss off this this guy that we're doing. We're supposed to be doing the mm-hmm. job for. I'm gonna be a negative man. The, uh, Probably bring it with us. That way, we can also go to the watchtower afterwards because it's close. I think it's close. Yeah, we can go get our. We can go get Ferris Mueller. I don't think we'll be collecting a reward on this one. Sorry, Mm. Nate. Yeah, it's okay. Emerging from the manhole, uh, uh, from the streets below, inside of the stinking sewers of a medieval city, uh, it's like a breath of fresh air. The smell of hot, tangy iron. And uh, and also baked bread. Um, mm. There is there's not that many people on the streets right now, but you can hear a hustle and bustle going on in the uh, the town square, and you can see on the edges of the towers or the edges of the walls, you can see the flags of the saints being raised. You can see all five of the the, the flags being raised at just about the same time. Malmute's flag is the first to go up, then uh, Aloha. Uh, Elohar, Rictus, uh, Severn, and uh, Belfort all go up. And Belfort's over near the palace. I give a dirty glance at the Severn thing, and I just mutter, I'll be back for you. He might. So you make your way across okay. town. You cross through the square. You get past the uh, the mules and the oxen as they begin their shifts with empty carts, all heading in one direction. None have begun heading back the other way yet. And uh, you with uh, you you go and get your mule from the. Uh, you go up to the stables and the an old man with uh, no teeth and one eye uh, and uh, a red beard and uh, furry knuckles um, and a toga. Uh, <laughs> the I'm more details you had. <laughs> Do we, we just find a Scottish frat fucking bro? Uh, and wooden wooden sandals, um, a pinky ring, uh, <laughs> uh, a, say, I, a I pocket watch, uh, a cross-eyed stepson. <laughs> a good sir. I just want to Can say you, that I see the my mule. ring and the sitting cross on a hot pink, pink stool for you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> click it, click it, uh, right on up. <laughs> and, he, and he says, uh, "He says, I got your mule." <laughs> what is that? Stop I, I, I grab the ropes from him and I flick him a silver piece. <laughs> You're flicking on his forehead where his eyes are straight in the mouth. <laughs> thank you, thank you kindly, sir. An old man needs all he can get in this city. 
Yeah, I bet he does. And I just keep walking away. <laughs> Wait, I thought that was the sun. Sorry, talk. I couldn't have for a hooker. <laughs> That's why I laughed. It's because I didn't expect that voice from the old man. <laughs> and you begin making your way towards the uh, south uh, exit of the city. Um, you can see that the south entrance is like heavily guarded. And as you approach, uh, there are like eight guards here above ground uh, that are or wait there are 12 guards there's uh, six on each side of the large gate and they're more above like uh, with crossbows and they just say uh, state your business uh, well we're from misers we're off to go do what we were paid for hmm he says, uh, he says, mercenaries heading south on contract. And uh, somebody from above goes, I, and you see the <laughs> gates begin to rise in front of you. <sighs> they open up and uh, beyond is like, it's, it's kind of like a beautiful land. You see that it begins like descending uh, southward uh, to a lower elevation. You can see that there's a big rocky area. Um, not too far, and then to the left of the big rocky area where the earth is cut into, there is just like a massive forested valley. Um, can I can I flick a coin to the guard and say <laughs> thanks, Slick, and then just walk away? <laughs> you don't have any money left. You fl- yeah, you flick your coin to him, and he says, uh, he says, hmm. He just say he nods at you, goes hmm, and then it does that. Uh, <laughs> oh fuck! Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> and uh, your your crow Wah! and your falcon Wah! fly over the city wall. They've been looking for you all night, buddy. You can oh. tell. Um, <laughs> oh, the uh, uh, roll of percentile. It's like, huh? I thought it felt uh, lighter. It's the last one, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> the uh the crow uh drops a, a small eyeball into your hand is it like fresh it's pretty fresh i just put it in my bag <laughs> <laughs> excellent um all right so you guys begin heading south um when you reach the tree line uh the the three scarred brothers step out from behind a stand of valley oaks and uh they they say uh well that didn't take long he says uh, thanks for that tip about the city wall uh daigle yeah i'm just wondering how you beat us here first we literally just walked out i mean you saw them they were booking it man <laughs> you booked says, it i don't, I don't know. understand how you could tip tail over a wall <laughs> but th- i guess i guess that's all that scar trading then yeah, you don't become a scarred brother if you can't do uh, basic field exercises, climbing, jumping, swimming, you know. Hide behind trees. <laughs> last, last, last Who said time. that? No, I'm just kidding. Last <laughs> fence, fence that would be the guy with the cool eyes. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right over the side. <laughs> I, I, I look at John and I say, so, what's next, Chief? Honestly, I, I think Wilton needs to lead us on this one. He, he knows what where the guy's at. Don't cry. Can I try to sense, t- the, sense the direction we need to head? Yeah, and then I'm just... Yeah, I, th- I think you need to also take the lead when we get there. Yeah, I think you should talk to the guy. You say and- you could sense this man from your roots? So you sense... Uh, you do... Uh, so you, you, you stretch out your senses, and uh, you do feel... To the uh, the south, yeah, to the slightly southeast, um, you can feel the uh, the pull of the tree in the distance, and you can also feel a, the, a presence. You feel like the presence of a man, as if like there's a man standing next to you. Wow, he's four standing next to me. <clears throat> can I can I uh, can I communicate with this man? Is that possible? Oh, you could try. What would you want to say? We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <Okay>. <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> and a voice that sounds like it's like it, it sounds like it's being spoken from really far away and like it's like echoing down like a long hallway you hear a it says what will be the nature of your arrival mm, we need to speak with you on behalf of the scarred brotherhood he says uh I see Clymore is with you. Yes. He says, come as friends. I will call my men back. All right, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's how phones were invented. <laughs> okay so you begin as you begin heading through the woods you actually see um a few times you hear like kind of a rustle in the bushes on either side and you see a man like st a guy stand up uh and uh, shake something liquid off of their hand and no, i'm just kidding uh, you see a guy like stand up from behind the bushes and uh like they have a, a bow they put their bow like over their back they look towards you and they and they like wave they wave like like a sign of peace, and they're just like heading in the woods away from you. So you begin following this growing crowd of men that are there, and uh, there, there's probably about eight of them that pop up as you're coming. And uh, you arrive at this area. You see, first you see as the tree line breaks, you see the trunk of the massive cobalt and viol violent tree. Uh, made of the twisting metal glittering in the sun it sprouted from the center of a cluster of boulders and you can see that its growth has actually scooted the boulders apart and twisting roots hold some of the stones aloft uh in the cracks and crevices there are makeshift homes with litter of wooden planks and wool and clothing amid the lifted stone it looks like there's enough dwelling for at least 20 people perhaps more in this little camp mm -hmm. um and you see a man with a cloak and purple blue eyes uh, walk out from the other, from uh, walking down from the stones where the tree is. Uh, you see him like hop from boulder to boulder and like step onto the ground and walk straight up to you, Wilton, and like shake your hand or reaches out his hand. And he, and he says to you, are you of the deep wood too? I don't know. <clears throat> Did you lick a random tree? <laughs> <laughs> he says no. Well, that, says, that's that's how I got my my power with this tree. I licked a space tree. <laughs> he says, I merely touched it. I was off in these forests hunting my quarry, and something fell from the sky. Oh, yeah, and from it, gr from it grew this, what was once small plant. And he like gestures towards the giant tree next to him. Uh, he says, I, I touched its leaf merely and felt myself forever bonded with it. That mine's bigger. <laughs> How did you say that? You got super sexual with your tree. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> He says, I can feel your tree, too. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> all right, all right, fellas. Enough, tr uh, enough trunk measuring. What is the nature of these trees? So big. Yes, but can you tell us about this power that we possess? Hmm. You can see that in his eyes, uh, it looks like he like he wants, like he wishes something. Like he's, he's looking like, hmm. Uh, a little mournful. He says, my heart wishes it came from the spirit of the deep wood, but the tree resists this idea. The tree says it came from a single point of light in the infinite darkness. It calls this the spindle and will speak no more of it to me. Mm, this sounds about where it came from then. Mm. It's like God tree? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it. He says, my followers, my followers here grow hungry. The guards have chased many of the, the creatures from the woods and 
it's, it is true the the creatures of the wood te- do not like to get near the tree as well um we've had to defend ourselves each day and the darkness grows in this land what's the relation between your tree and black cap black cap he says hmm he says i'm not sure there's a connection between him and the tree but he has taken quite an interest in the tree and in our followers here and in my followers here Uh, he strikes a strange figure i've never actually seen his face but his men are powerful and have already protected us from capture it is my understanding that men have been hired to kill me and my followers but so far all have failed are you telling me that black caps men are protecting you yes he says there is one of his that is among our camp. And you see, uh, sitting out by this fire, uh, there is this just kind of like big figure with a steel mask on his face. And uh, he's got a, like a black cloak over. These things slaughter villages. He says, what are you talking about? Hey, isn't Black Cat the leader of the pig ones, right? Mm-hmm. I believe so. Yeah. I'm saying a bunch of boar-headed men destroyed, demolished our village, set it aflame, and killed one of our own. He says, well, while this is terrible, I'm sorry to hear this has happened to you. He says, there are no pigmen here. What's that thing over there with the mask? He says, that is Gil. You named it? <laughs> <laughs> He said he was introduced to us as you to keep it by by uh by black cap and he's uh he stayed with us here for a while now he's uh protected our men quite well is he scarred he says uh i have not looked upon his face of course because there's a pig under it i'm guessing it doesn't have <laughs> eyes does it speak he says uh he does not seem to speak. How do you not... How are you not sure it won't just go wild and destroy everything? There has been no indication that Gil is dangerous to any but those who try to harm us. I'm going to go ahead and try a little experiment here. I got like a drop of that Desmata stuff in a vial. I'm going to pull it out and open it and see if he can smell it. Let's see if oh we can rage this fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit wow okay so yeah you pop you pop the vial and immediately you can hear like a like the like a huffing of like a beast as uh, Gil, <laughs> Gil stands up from the fireplace and uh, begins me. begins walking straight towards you two and uh, everybody roll a perception check Why did mine? I have, a, roll? I have a plus four oh. to perception. If that helps Why me out, why the fuck any. is the mine roll one? Okay, I got a you plus click, three. Click the d twenty first. Oh, <laughs> is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a plus. Got a high what it, one. What's the perception? I got a plus three again? also. So man, me and you ain't noticing shit. I got a plus. I got a nine. nine. What's my perception so, at? Plus four. So, Nice. Oh, okay. So you and Daigle hear the chiming of some bells, like this really light chiming of some like very quiet bells, and you see uh, Gil just like uh, kind of relaxes and uh, like puts his hand behind his head and then goes and uh, walks back to the fire and sits down. Um, and you can see, and now at the uh, at the uh, the entrance of the camp. You see entering uh, a man clad entirely in black from his leather hat to his plague doctor's mask and gloves to the long, rough, black leather cloak about his body. He appears from the tree line flanked by six large men in black cloth cloaks with steel masks just like Gilgard. Burns, uh, how'd hat. you fucking domesticate a pigman? I don't, does, I don't does know Does he shit where he eats? Does he shit in the litter box or what? 
Did we notice them? How'd you do Michigan and pick mine? Yeah, they, 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 you, you see them coming. They're coming in okay. from behind. And, uh, and Brent says, I still have no idea what you're talking about. There are no pigmen here. They wear the face. Where are, gents, where are those dents marching and, in? Uh, I, from I, behind I, you, from behind you, you hear, you hear a laughing. You hear <laughs> pigmen. He says, I know them. Who said that? And who are you? Who the fuck said that? <laughs> He says, pleasure to meet you. My name What's is Black Cap. Oh, the leader. Somebody else uh, take over the dialogue here. <laughs> Black Cap, aren't you, aren't you infamous around these parts? He says, this is not if I've been doing my job right. You, the cre you responsible for these monstrosities? I don't know what monstrosities you speak of. I've heard of these pigmen. Apparently, they've assaulted several settlements nearby, which is one of the reasons why it's imperative we escape this land. Are they not the same as the ones you carry with you? He says, these? He says, these are my humble warriors and friends, my compatriots. They've defended this village of uh, Brent's followers. And... They fight for me tooth and nail. Did you not create them? He says, you are making a lot of assumptions, outsider. All I know is what I've seen. And I've seen things similar to these wreaking havoc, taking away from people like that. Edgar, is, is someone just pulled? He says, uh, he says to you, he says, uh, he says, you know, you guys seem to fit the description. I heard from my man inside the city walls that you arrived only a day ago and that you reported to the Archimandrite's bootlicker. Let me just say this word. Edgar! Just because he created something crazy. That's, that's like blaming the man that created the sword. Yeah, blaming him from creating malice. Thoughts. If this... If this man did create the, and let me tell you, let me tell you, he's uh, Brent. brutalizing them. He's taking everything from them. Brent, Brent says he Recording looks over to he looks over to Clymore standing near you with the scarred brothers, John, and he says, uh, he said, did you, did you, did you come here with these men just to throw accusations at my friend, at our friends and protectors? Is this why you've come? He says, if Brent. this is what you're here for, you should leave. Brent, let me tell you why we're here. Let me tell you why we sought out to find you, and let me tell you why we're here. We are sought out to find you because there's a contract on your head. But that's not why we're here. We're here because we're here to protect you. Because there's something, there's something greasy and slimy going about. And I don't know if it's Miser Peak or anywhere else. But we're on your side, lad. Otherwise, we'd, we'd come up from behind you and not show our face. Hmm. Brent says, yes, you came from the front, and it seems that you've come bearing a warning. And he, he looks over to a uh, black cap and says, uh, he says, they warned me that you've created monstrosities, that you're involved with some sort of pigmen, that you're dangerous. And black cap uh, just laughs. He's like, no. <laughs> he says, I have not created these pigmen. He says, I do know of them. But he says, this is none of my work. He says, as I've told you, Brent, I am a man of science. He says, but this science is grotesque, disgusting. He says, I'm into the type of magic which can, or the type of, uh, I'm into the type of, uh, <laughs> the, the type of uh, practices, the type of pursuits which can prolong lives, not take them away. Which came first? You said you 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 can't blame Black Cap for these pigmen. Well, it's like blaming the man that created the sword for every man that's been slaughtered by it. Dang, it's not we their just fault. met this guy. We they don't create the signs. Quick to jump against us, Judas. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's like just because you created, you invented the sword. You're not responsible for every innocent life that's been lost to it. But you're you can't really take credit for every courageous. Battle is won because of the sword. You just, you're just there. You're just a scientist. You're just a man, a craftsman. 
Uh, uh, don't blame Black, Black, Cap. Black Cap says because you guys are having this conversation in ton of in front of like two people in a, a whole village right now mm -hmm. and several warriors. I just want to put this into perspective. You guys are talking like this in front of people that are talking to you. Um, I, was just, I, was, I was just trying to ask him questions because yep. that, that was the last thing. Black Cap says about. this. He says this one gets it. This one gets it. Pointing at David. Uh, no. I, I, I'm going to look at Black Cat skeptically. And say the, these men whose lives you're prolonging. What of their minds? Hmm. He says. Well, he says those I. He says those I heal are just as fine as they were before. You see what the healing of a Severn cultist does? Takes away the uh, the this uh, takes away them. He says it may return a man to sanity, but it takes something from him too. He says my healing has no such cost. So, well, are you saying that Severin, they run similar experiments? Uh, I, I lost it. I don't know. He says, he says no. They are just, uh, they consider themselves healers as well. Yeah, I've seen their healing firsthand, and I've had a little bit of my own. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I apologize for as well. I apologize for any accusations. Yeah. I should have known it was Severin. It's always uh, Severin. Um, I'm, I'm just going to turn to Climore and be like, what, what do you think of this? Because he's just been sitting here, you know. He says, uh, Climore says, I'm not sure what to think. I've never seen this Black Cap character before. He says, he, f he seems dangerous. I do not feel we're in a good position anymore. Yeah, we're agreed there. He says, "I'm I'm not sh I'm not sure what to do. I'll have to defer to you, as you are under Hobart's command here." It's fucking murder, Black Cat, bro. <laughs> Sidebar. Uh, I'm down for whatever you guys want to do. I don't know. If 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 Black Cap speaks true, then he could be on our side fighting against. Mm -hmm. So, We're the only person we've heard from that, which is why I wanted to ask Climor. He's the person who told us about about Black Cap. Mm -hmm. That's why. Are these so, guys wearing masks too that he came with? Because there's a real easy they are steel ones. Yeah, yeah. There's a real simple like way to whatever. We just uh, ask the gaze upon their faces. I need to see he their proved. spine. Gil, Gil, come over here for I a need second. To see their back. We gotta talk with you. Gil remains at the fire. <laughs> She's definitely a pigman. They have no brain. There's all bronze. No brain. <laughs> He says, I would appreciate it if you stop calling my men pigmen. He says, "There." He says, imagine what that does to a human being. Yeah, imagine, imagine what it does to a human feel. being, but imagine what it doesn't do to a pigman. Black okay, cat. he says, so he says, uh, he says, Brent, the operation is ready. He says, I, I can't speak too much of it now, as I'm not sure we're in the company of friends. He says, you must make a decision, Brent, because... You know what must be done if these men can't be trusted. And Brent nods his head and he and he and he just like he holds his hand in his head and he looks over at Wilton and you're he like locks eyes with you for a minute and just stares into your eyes and he says Give me a reason not to kill you. <clears throat> Coggy little fuck. <laughs> <laughs> cool. He looks upset well, too. Chris, he looks upset to be making this choice. We've given you no reason to kill us. We're only here to protect you. He says, where is your proof of this? He says, where is your proof that you're here to protect us? All you've done so far is accuse our allies during a we uh, walk, precious We walked time. into your encampment unarmed. And it could no be No weapons ploy. drawn. A ploy for what? We're surrounded by your men. You guys outnumber us 20 to 1. He says, I'm not sure, but the thing is, I don't want to find out. And if I let you go freely, I may have to. He says, my goal here, I'll tell you this much, is to get all of these followers out of here safe and to get as many of the innocent men and women of so Stovehurst out of here as well. We need to head north. We need to head to Belfort, where they have the provisions in order to uh, save, save these people's lives and protect them from what's coming. Belfort. Then, let, we, we then let's head that way. 
together. He says, you're going to have to convince me better than that. <coughs> I'll, oh, I'll tell you, Brent. I'll tell you that's where you're here to help you. Just because Tree Man told us to. He sees something that we don't, and we trust him for that. Because we're a part of a, a brotherhood. We're a part of something strong. We're the sloppy sisters. It may not mean nothing to you for now, but I'm sure you'll be hearing about it later. When you're fought lit in there in, in Belfort with, with your cheese and your wine and your chicken and, and old turkey legs. Um, and all the men uh, from Stovehurst are safe. Men and women, children, all safe up there north. But I, I tell you, I don't. I don't trust Belfort. Maybe it's the best option right now. And maybe you have to choose a better of the evil. But I'm not really one to side with the Belfort. But I'll help you. We'll all help you. Okay, roll a roll a persuasion with advantage. Okay, so Brent Brent says, he says, not good enough. Brent, and, listen, uh, Brent, and you see, you see, though he he like he puts a hand on Brent's shoulder and he says, "Did you say you have a tree man?" Yes, we have a tree man. He looks so he looks. He looks over at you four, and like as he's like, and at the and the scarred monks and Clymore as well. Uh, as his eyes like cross John Gilmore, you see he does like a little nod, and uh, <laughs> then he he like looks he looks into uh, into Wilson's eyes and he says, "It's you." Can I flash my eyes at him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, he, yeah. He, go, he goes fascinating. He says, "Brent." Indeed. You didn't tell me. He said, he said, Brent, you didn't tell me that more of your deep wood brothers had survived. <laughs> That's so uh, deep wood. <laughs> and, oh my God. Uh, he, uh, and, Brent sa- and Brent says back, he says, I'm not sure he is of the deep wood, but he says, but he is similar to me in, in one way. He's also bonded to one of these holy trees. Yes, I am not of the deep wood. I am of the the Slop Sisters. (laughs) The Slop Sisters. (laughs) And uh, and Orin, he snaps his fingers and he says, I think I ran into a blind peddler who was ranting about the Slop Sisters. The Slop (laughs) Pop. Did you know? Yes. (laughs) Ooh, that's World's not good. We're, we're, we're demonized. Yeah, we're, we're it's it's infamy. I don't think we're I don't think we're in the right spot here. No, I'm just kidding. The guy was a bandit. <laughs> was it just, good talk? <laughs> he said uh, the man seemed quite reverent about whoever the the slop tops were. Spoke of them in some sort of holy light that blinded him. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure he was uh, quite right in the head, but odd that you bring it up. Anyways, Brent, these, uh, he says, this could be, uh, he said, this could, this could be, this could prove useful to our cause. Um, perhaps we should bring them along. He says, I would, uh, I would elect to, to take, during the operation, I would elect to take, uh, this one pointing at uh, John Gilmore, and this one pointing at Wilton. He says, and the others can go with you. Look, I, 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 oh, I, was I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm know, man. Raped. Um, <laughs> dude, I think we can handle our own, but I don't know. That was me, uh, just kind of like side commenting to to Wilton. What do you, what do you guys want to do, Edgar Bagel? I think our first priority is to save these innocent people, and then we'll put black cap on the back well, burner for now. We'll obviously, we, we went against misers just to save this town. It'd be stupid now to turn back. Yeah, I, I say we put the town's innocent people ahead of whatever vengeance may or may not lie ahead with the old crow face over here. Do we have to go with the rapey guy? <laughs> the <rapey guy. laughs> um yeah so he he says that to uh to brand that he'd take those two and he says so you think we can trust these men uh and black cap says yes i already knew they weren't here to fuck with us 
damn. Cocky old fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to go, now why all the problems? <laughs> I know we've had, I, I know we, uh, nobody really trusts anybody here, but I mean, we can build trust. We can start by saving innocent think, lives. I'm a man of just sprint. I freed slaves in Sovehurst. Oh, that's, and uh, Brent Brent uh, nods and he says, uh, he says, you speak true? I speak true. I speak nothing but the truth. Unless he you're playing a card game. <laughs> he says, I'm they're, very they're, truthful. He says, uh, their practice of uh, indentured servitude is sickening. He says, I, I, I thank you for, thank you for what you've done for that man. All, all of them should be freed. I'm a man of just first, and I'm a mercenary second. If I find a cause, th that's first. Hmm. He says, uh, during the Saints' War, my people were pressed into conscription by uh, Malmute's men, by St. Malmute's men. Uh, ma Don't get all, me started none of them on the now church. Live, none of them live in the deep wood now. We're spread across the kingdoms. Sidebar here. Saint Malmut wasn't one of the saints like rumored to be alive still or something. Or am I thinking of something else? No, that's true. Uh, I think it was Elohar or Elohar, Rictus. Okay. One of those fucking assholes. Uh, Rictus might touch you while you're asleep. He's that type of uncle. So, so you think <laughs> there, uh, Brent? Is sir, will we be paid? You know, we, we can't, we can't eat, we can't eat good morals. Can't live off that. He looks you in the eyes and he says, this is life or death. Where we're going, gold won't matter. Yeah. Are we going to starve those? What am I asking? Brent. He says, There's, uh, there is a bit of food left in the camp. If you have any of your own provisions, I'd suggest that you use them. Thank you. We'll carry this out. Well, let's do this. I'd like to, so me and Wilton are going to just go off with, uh, uh, what was his name? Black cap. Okay, yeah. Okay. Off with okay. black cat. I um, think it's black so, cap. I know. <laughs> mm. And uh, so now Daigle. Okay, so they they mentioned that the operation's about to go, and uh, Brent says, "Okay, black cap." I agree, I agree with your conditions. You'll take those two. I will take the others. And none can be led after, out of our sight. They must fight amongst us if they turn at any point. He says they, they, they will be left behind in the fray or executed. Can I, can I, can I whisper something in Black Cap's ear? I'm sure. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> How far are you, son of a bitch? No, it's no. <laughs> don't you? Don't you dare! What? What are you he's, saying? He's, he's calling him Hobart. Hobart, it's not you. I know it's fucking you. It's you. Oh, so you're, you're saying that to the to Black Cap? I just whispered in his ear. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> he he pushes you back and he says, "I know that name." He says, "Now, now," he, he says, "Speak to me true." Are you working for Hobart? Me? I'm working for you. <laughs> uh -huh. Look at me. I don't got enough scars on me to work for that man. What are you talking about? <laughs> do a uh, do a deception. Okay, excellent. And uh, God damn, you got a that, high deception. <laughs> yeah, he says. Uh, <laughs> don't speak that name around me. That piece of shit. Hobart's the one making pig men. What a twist. <laughs> a ring uh, is the thickness, so I, I, I tell you, I, I'd like... It was, oh, sorry, it was a ahead. room. It was a room. I, I'd like to go up to uh, uh, Climore before I leave and just, mm -hmm. like, you know, tell him where, where no one can hear. Uh, hey, try try to get a look at their these, these guys' spines. Look, look for scarring where there shouldn't be scarring he, he would know the marks they would look odd he says i see he says i will do my best to uh, uh to confirm or deny your suspicions he says i will keep an eye on them 
and so will Thank the rest of my men. Thank you. Well, I guess this is goodbye, dude. Stay safe. Yeah. He gives you the the Please. wrist to wrist, and uh, means you guys are married now. Yeah, we are. Uh, <laughs> I suppose I will. I will see you in the city now. And uh, Black Cap hops up on one of the rocks, and Brent hops up on a rock next to him. And uh, when they stand, like you can see, like the the light blue and white cloaks versus like the black leather of Black Cap. Like they, they they strike like these very opposite figures standing on the stones beneath the sacred tree. Um, and Brent says, <clears throat> he clears his, his voice, he clears his throat. He says, uh, the operation's ready, men. The guards at the tunnel's entrance change shift in less than an hour. Their replacements will let us into the city where we can liberate the innocent men and women of Stovehurst. He says, many of them already know that we will be coming. Others do not. He says, there may be unarmed civilians who attempt to stop you from, from what you're doing. He says, but our main job is to get out as many men, women, and children as possible to shed the least amount of blood. So go by these doctrines. He says, uh, follow, follow my second in command. And all of us will exit through the northern gates of the city and head straight towards the Belfort kingdom. He says, if you have an opportunity to grab any horses or livestock, please do so. He says, but refrain from looting anybody who wishes to stay. He says, they deserve their resources. They are not as plentiful as they seem. Brent seems like a good dude. And Black Cap says, uh, he says, yeah, what he said. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> guy. What the fuck are you um, but picking a he, fight with two different little fucking things and then surrounded is not the right way to go right this second. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are oh. we waiting for? Dinner is already done. Let's head out, boys. Let's go. Okay. Woo-hoo. So the groups, the groups separate. Um, w- uh, Gil, the uh, you know one of the the masked men, uh, and and one of the other masked men uh, stays with Brent's group as like a pair of big bodyguards towards the front. Most of Brent's people have a bow and arrow, and uh, there are a few who have long swords. Um, and the ones with long swords are armored up. Um, it's a battalion of like this is like twenty eight people with like Brent as the leader, including those two big guys. And then on the other side, you have Black Cap, the the four scarred brothers, like Climor and the other three, John and uh, Edgar with uh, five of the, the big brutes. Um, so uh, there you guys begin, Ed- huh? I thought Wilton was coming with me. Oh shit! Yeah. Other way, sorry. Yeah. Oh, with yeah. Wilton, uh, with Wilton. Yeah, I was like, wait, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah, me and yeah, Daigle so got I, black cap. Black, got black also, cap. can I can I still Let's like follow that. line, but just move silently, sneak as uh, as we go? I think we're yeah, supposed yeah. to be where they. Oh, okay, okay. You can, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Dope. I didn't know if I'm they gonna, were supposed to stay in their sight or something. I'm gonna follow quietly. Uh, I'm gonna trail everything uh, from the side, so I'm gonna just kind of, kind of. Okay, yeah. Roll a stealth check. All right, dope. I do have. You step I have a plus on every. Six you step himself. on every branch. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you actually you okay. So uh, he Brent if is I can like make it uh, ahead, round, that'd be dope. But yeah, Sorry. Brent is like rounding his man, and he's like keeping people in order, and he's actually having people move like pretty slowly through the forest right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, you managed to slip away unnoticed by even Edgar. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh or wait no he's got expanded he's got he's got the he's got them big ass eyes now so roll a perception oh, check shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh me okay yeah let's see if you can find him this would be interesting uh three plus four yeah you don't he's real sneaky um uh, okay. and he's real noify um is, are, are we are we doing this assault at night is that what's going on yeah no, it is the middle no, of the day we're, oh, we're fuck. just trying to get people out 
It's not yeah, really I don't assault. think it's an assault. You guys are uh, I'm calling it an assault because it's people not may a get attacked and they may get phosphoric acid in their face. We're trying to get people out. <laughs> so, um, hey, I'm not wishing bloodshed here. I'm just accepting it if it comes. So, it looks like uh, Brent's men are like going straight towards the uh, the southern gate, like the above ground. And then uh, you guys with the uh, with the, the the soldiers in black and black cap and the scarred brothers are headed over to the rocky area where you can see the entrance of a large mine. And there are men that are like kind of like pushing like mine carts and stuff. And there are like some mules that are like pulling like they're using to drive and like pull large stones. And uh, you can see like some men at work. But as you guys like round this rocky cliffy area. Um, <laughs> You go, uh, uh, they begin to scatter. So, uh, are we, con- are our faces concealed too? Like, I mean, everybody else seems to be, uh, hiding their identity with the black cap shit. <laughs> I don't know if we're ever coming back to this town. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else is, is hiding their faces in, in Brent's company that you're with. Oh, okay. So just, just that uh, black cap. Okay. So, so first we're going to go with the people passing through the gates and going into the city first, and then we're going to join the others, uh, as they enter underground. Okay. So, uh, or do you guys want to flip for it? You guys want me to flip for it? Who wants heads? Who wants tails? How do you guys prefer? So we're going to go with above ground first. So you guys approach the, uh, the Southern gate. And uh, you can see that there are, like, uh, some new guards, like, walking up to the gate. And uh, you see the gate, like, it cranks open just, like, a couple of feet and then locks in place. Uh, so it's, like, it's like four feet off the ground. Like, you could easily, like, duck underneath it. But then it, like, locks in place. And you can hear a scuffle on the walls on top. And uh, you hear, like, the pounding, the resounding pound of iron, like, uh, of, like, armor being struck. And uh, it sounds like two guards are fighting and scraping up on the uh, the top of the walls. And down below, you can see that there's a guard looking under the fence. It's the one that Wilton tossed a coin to, and he just like waves to you guys to come in. I run through. <laughs> you're, oh, not well, you're not there. Oh, yeah, you're not there. You're not there. It's bad. just it's just wait. me and Edgar. It would have been so much no. cooler if you were there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I'm confused. I thought we were going underground with black cap, or is black? No, cap no. Not? Opposite. Opposite. You and me are sticking. Oh, uh, black. Above Dang, ground. Edgar above ground. Wilton yes. oh. and John below. Oh, okay. with, uh, with sorry. Brent. I, okay, I mixed so, them both up. Then. Yeah, I, I, I mixed even, it up earlier too. I thought Brent. Uh, okay. I thought Brent was. Uh, I thought Brent was going above ground. I no. didn't know. That makes yeah, Brent, yeah, Brent is above yes. ground. You guys are with yes. Brent. Oh, oh yes. I thought we went with Black Cap. No, Black no, no, no. Opposite. Black Cap That's is the part with, that got mixed uh, up. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, oh, and so, we're all on the same page now. So yeah, you guys are fine. So wait. I say to the guard, it's like. Don't just, say so, wait. You know exactly what's going on now. I, You're with I, Brent. I was confused. <laughs> no, because I say to the guard. Okay. I thought the tree guys were sticking yeah. together. That's why I got confused. No, so a, we're with a gay you wind blows. with Brent, and then uh, Black Cap is with uh, uh, John and uh, Wilton uh, yeah. uh, underground. Okay, I, uh, got... I say to the guard. Yep. Okay, um, so... I think they need some resolution up there. What the frick is going on? I just went outside to take a piss. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to rush under the gate because it seems like a... And then we just go under... Is, uh, we, I move under the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he says to you, he like he looks to you and he looks to Brent and he says, uh he says, think think uh think one of the one of the Archimandrite's men might know we're coming. Uh, might know you're coming. Say, uh, got a scuffle up top. He says, uh, uh be be quick. He says, the others uh holding the north gate won't be able to hold it for long. And if they sound the alarm, we might have trouble. Oh, thank you. He, he says, You won't have long after they sound the alarm, anyways. You're a good man. I can see it. Thank you. He says, I hope to see you in Bella Fortuna. And he, like, gives I'll, you a salute. I'll, I'll see you there, friend. <laughs> Sounds like a race. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are now, like, uh, entering the city through the duck wall. You can see that... Um, uh, Ahead of you, uh, the entrance to the iron mine is like, uh, like probably like like a half mile ahead, and there's like a bunch of homes. You're in like a residential district towards the south wall, um, and uh, he's uh, Brent commands you. He says, uh, he says, okay, now spread out. Uh, 
He says, go, go in pairs. Go in pairs and, thir- and threes. He says, now, now rouse as many of these people from their houses and let them know the time has come. Rouse or rouse? <laughs> he says, rouse them. I'll do the best I right, can. Let's do it. Let's go to some houses and be like, everybody up. Hard we'll Edgar, you. whoop it out. We're going to go rouse the people. So the other elbow him as a joke. <laughs> so the other men just begin like running up to the houses. You can see that like the ones that have bows, like have their bows strapped on their backs, and uh, they're like going up to the doors. They're just like knocking on the windows and like waving into the people. And uh, yeah, uh, they're okay, just like going. I, to, and you can I see people the, are beginning to like pull out into the street a little bit. Um, I guess we're doing the Brent, same. Right? Let's Brent, just- <laughs> I just want to say this, this is this kind of a last minute plan. But what houses do we hit? All of them. Uh, Brent, uh, Brent looks over and he says, he says, this is, uh, he says, this is the, uh, this is the poor district of town. He says, all of these, all of these people we bring with us. He says, many of these are, uh, are craftsmen who will aid, aid us in the time ahead. Right. And farmers. Where'd you? I guess we, we head over to a house and we knock on the door. Mm-hmm. And we knock on the window. Yeah, it's, I was just following suit with them, just going to need house and following uh-huh. what they're doing. Okay, so you and Daigle arrive at a house, or yeah, yeah, Daigle and Edgar arrive at the house, and uh, uh, Daigle like knocks on the the window or whatever, and uh, the person that shows in is like some is a, uh, it looks like this teenage guy, and he just goes like, <laughs> he looks out at you and he like spits at you and he flips you off. This is what I just <laughs> I go, He's on the and then I grab him by his shirt right? and I go, listen, you said bitch, you wanna fucking die tonight? Gather everything you have. Come out here and meet us in the Dangle. square. Let's move. Dago, we don't have time for this. We just keep moving on. The kid, the kid laughs. He's like, <laughs> you guys think you're really gonna make it out of here? Stupid. Just he says, I'm going. Oh, he on. says, I'm staying in my house. Yeah, get off me, your parents. You old creep. Yeah, well, do you have a mom and dad home? He says, yeah. No. Well, <laughs> unfortunate for you. You're, yeah, you're going to die under the weight of the city. Have fun. Are you trying to convince him? Or? Yeah, I'm tr- uh, Yeah. Okay, make a roll. Oh, shit. Oh, Kill him. It's what John would want. Kill all the children. <laughs> <laughs> Level up. Level up. <laughs> he experience. looks experience. <laughs> he looks at you and like his lip trembles a little bit. He's like, "You really think it's gonna be that bad? It's gonna be done. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fire, and it's gonna be a d- disaster. No one's gonna live here. You've barely been living here as it is. We need a new life, son. We goes, can give it to you. Fuck. I'll grab my things." He runs back into the house. You can hear him just like scrambling stuff together. You managed to convince the 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 teen to to leave the town though, and you guys begin to just what spread out and rouse more people, or what? Do you, or do you guys yeah, have yeah, just yeah, spread we'll out, keep just rousing. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Okay, excellent. Then we'll jump below ground because that's what you guys are doing. Um, so at the entrance to okay. the mines, you can see that like many people have run and like hidden behind the stones and everything. And uh, Black Cap pulls a. Uh, he like you can see him like reaching underneath his cloak, and uh, guys roll perception checks. You two. And I have for perception absolutely nothing. But okay, what is that? Is, is that wisdom or intelligence? Wisdom. Okay, uh, it doesn't fucking matter. It's plus two for both. I'm stupid. <laughs> oh nice. eighteen. Okay, yeah. So you you can tell that when he like uh, he reaches under his cloak and then you hear the chiming of a bell. Uh, it actually sounds like two bells chiming in concert, and. Uh, there, uh, at the entrance of the uh, thing, you can see that there's two new guards coming out, and you see, uh, like, uh, two of his his uh, cloaked men just run up to the front and grab the guards by the heads and just slam their heads into the walls, and their heads get crushed against the walls, and blood sprays everywhere, and their, like, flopping corpses fall to the ground, and Black Cap says, that's how you make an entrance, now let's go. Fuck, man. Uh, I just look at Wilton and just like skeptically like I uh, I guess I guess we're going. Here we go. 
<laughs> he starts running in. Uh, so yeah, you guys are like moving at like a, a like a run through the iron mines, okay? Or well, moving at a fast pace. Uh, and Black Cap and one of his men are kind of like tailing behind to keep uh, Wilton and John in the middle. Okay. Wilton and John are together. Yeah. Um, and then the and then you guys are basically like flanked by two more of the big guys on either side who have now produced like these large clubs. Um, like, like great clubs, just basically big limbs, you know, uh, I, I I'm getting my gaunt, just gauntlets all on. behind gauntlets on you. What they're behind us can, too. Can we We're just, boxed yeah, in, I know. Can we, can, can we nonchalantly <laughs> just like fall to the back of the line and have them pass us? Uh, you, as you begin, no, you're being watched intently as you begin slowing, they slow, they slow too. And, uh, and, and then black, black cap says like, keep up the pace. Come on. <clears throat> all right well yeah you're being watched too close he's literally right behind you gotcha okay uh well i guess we just keep on keeping on yeah so black cap uh he he kind of like pulls you aside as you're running not not wilton but uh john he pulls you over to the side and he says you think you can trust this guy you're with over here absolutely hmm. he says uh yeah, he just, he, he kind of like, he nods his head and he says, is he a friend of yours? Someone you've known for a long time? Quite a while. Been through a he lot. Said, mm. He says, is he from Gilmore's Keep too? How the fuck do you know that? He turns away. Um, and uh, you guys, uh, yeah, he, he just kind of ushers you towards the middle. And like after, after he says uh, like, after he just turns away, you can you can hear that there's a, a shout in the distance, and they say, "Men, formation!" And uh, you hear the sound of like shields being dropped into the ground, and there's a phalanx of guards that is uh, standing near like the the exit right there, and uh, you can see a uh, black Cap, black cap just shouts. He says, "Well, looks like somebody turned on us." And uh, he said, and he says, it's it's time to get going, man. And he and he pulls out from like underneath his jacket, this like he's holding like three bells in each hand and he just like swings the bells and like shakes them and you can hear them like chime. And uh, the guys in their cloaks just go into a frenzy and like run straight at the phalanx of guards where they like begin like knocking guards up out, like bending, denting their shields in. One of them breaks their weapon and now he like grabs the guard's spear as he's being like speared in the stomach and like breaks another spear in half. And uh, uh, Black Cap turns to you and he says, well, get to it. <coughs> Um, yeah, I guess uh, I'm going to rush in and start fighting. All right, roll initiative, gentlemen. Oh, Wait, does John go, go in, into frenzy too or no? Oh, shit. I have a, fr I have a frenzy potion. Is there a lot of do you go? Well, do you go into frenzy because of the bell or? No. Or, no. Shoot, are these guards necessarily go. bad or are we just, are they just attacking uh, us because we're fucking good and evil. Them. What's good and evil? I, that is all for your guys' determination. Like I can't tell you your morals. Sick. I don't know who's good or evil. I just know who's there and what's happening. Hey guys, we have a very great <laughs> moral compass. Um, <laughs> it's up to you. Yeah, you decide. <laughs> Do you like these guards? Do you want to kill them? The, you have to decide now because you're rolling yeah. initiative. Who's uh, So Wilton's got how much initiative? What is that? Nine. Got nine. nine plus dex. Twelve? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. And then okay. I got plus zero. God damn, I'm good. No. So also, also 12. Yeah. Okay, you guys get to do a fun buddy turn. You guys get to go at the same time. So, uh, yeah, so the, uh, I mean, the, the guards are mostly being, like, pulverized, but there are a few that are, like, routing, dropping their shield or dropping their spears and pulling out their swords. And you can see a few that have halberds. And uh, one of the ones with the halberds turns and starts, like, running towards you two and black cap okay okay well i, I shoot my bow i pull, draw my bow and i shoot an arrow right at his face what roll it four all right so it uh yeah it, it hits him like on the arm and it barely gets through like a, a crook in the plate mail like a little like a little 
crack of one of his joints, but it doesn't seem to like dig him too deep. Um, and it's your turn, John. Go ahead. I, I rush the same guy <laughs> with a quick and step. Gonna go just hit him with hit him with the spike gauntlet. Okay, Ty, you gauntlet. get two attacks. Are you crazy? You got a halberd drawn. That's gonna hit. Oh, those both hit. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah I know your bonus so. is like plus five. So now roll for damage 2d4 uh, plus four altogether. Those are d6s. Oh, sorry. My bad. Next level, your hit dice does go up, though. Okay, nice. so you do eight damage. Fuck yeah. Nice. Yes, you go up and clock him twice, and uh, you can see that he's beginning to bleed. Uh, the you can see that like uh, like his blood is like leaking down like his rusty iron armor. You can see the condition of their armor is like not great, actually. Surprisingly, for an iron city. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he swings at you with his halberd. Uh, does a seventeen hit? Um. Let's see. Yes. Okay, that is going to do seven points of damage. Ouch. He swings at you desperately with his basically axe on his stick and uh, whacks you across the chest. Um, You hear an explosion from behind you, and you see a hole appear in the man's face, and he falls backwards. The fuck? And uh, it's Wilton's turn. Um, <clears throat> can I turn to see what made the what made the explosion? You see Black Cap st- uh, standing behind you. When you look at him, he, j- he just he shrugs. It was it him, or is he just saying uh, I don't? I don't know. Well, he sees you. Man? He sees you look back after that happened, and he just goes. Oh boy. Um, are there still other guards trying to attack us? <laughs> yeah, there's still uh two or three more guards. Yeah, there's three more. All right. I just want to shoot one of them in the face. Go for <laughs> it. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. That's gonna hit. Roll yo damage. <laughs> Noise. Two, five. Okay, yes, yeah, so your arrow digs its way into a man's shoulder, and uh, he turns back towards you, and one of the other men, realize, he's like, he's pointing, he, he realizes that there's only, like, three of them left, and he yells, retreat! And uh, the men begin, like, backing off, and they're trying to, like, point a, point away from the men. It's John's turn. Um, if, if they're retreating, I'm going to let them retreat. Okay. I'll, re- I'll ready myself if any of them try to fucking come at me, but the, mm-hmm. I'm going to let them retreat. Excellent. Um, so yeah, the uh, the other the other um, the the men in the uh, black robes uh, chase down the last three men and pulverize them into the ground with their <laughs> with their clubs. I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> I was being hopeful though. <laughs> <laughs> their blood runs downward at the slight grade where it begins to head upward into the city. Um, uh, pooling towards the bottom on the well tread uh what is that called ramp um so yeah uh you guys begin seeing the light of day as you head your uh your, the rest of the way up at the tunnel um and uh black cap turns over to uh john and says i want you close to me out here it's going to be dangerous he says we need to keep that one your friend in our sight oh, oh okay I'm, just, I'm becoming increasingly more uncomfortable. <laughs> and Wilton? Um, yeah, can I just sense what... Um, I forgot the other tree guy's name. <laughs> you want to spread Brent? your senses? Yeah, I just want to see if... Um, Brent. I can see what the hell... He, Brent. I'm going to see what he's doing. You can okay. communicate with us um, what's going on. Yeah, you begin uh, sending your senses, like, outward. You stop, and uh, you can sense that Brent is, like, he's tense. Like, he, you can feel like, you know, he's he's nervous. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's in danger uh, yet. You can, uh, 
you know that there are like people running around. You can sense like motion, but you can't really see anything. Um, and very quickly af after you like enter this state and like receive this kind of like sensory data, you're like shunted back into your own body as uh, you're like slapped on the back. And Black Cap says, "We need to keep moving." All right. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, now we can uh, return back top as you yeah as you guys run up. Um, so from the top, uh, you guys have now like roused like there are there is a few hundred people that are out on the streets from like this side of town, and some of them are holding um. Uh, what is this? Yeah, some of them are holding, what is it called? Uh, like broomsticks, pitchforks, like whatever they can grab from inside their houses, table legs, and, uh, they, you can hear a horn blasting across the distance of the town, and you can hear, like, the marching of some men, and hoorah, and, like, yelling and chanting that is, like, happening across town. Um, also at the time, as soon as the horns go off, uh, this like would also be for you guys like below ground as you guys are like approaching the top, you guys can hear the horns going off as you're like stepping out into the sunlight. You can hear, uh, you can feel like the faint sensation of a very light rain and you can see that there's a fog in the city, a light fog <laughs> in the city. Um, and you hear doors smashing open as more men in those uh, silver in the in the steel masks with the black cloaks on begin bursting out of some of the uh, the southern towns uh, houses. Um, and now it looks like uh, maybe 10 more of Oren's men have like just burst out now. So he's, he's there with 15. Um the guards begin to assemble uh, on the other side of uh, Oven's masked men. Brent, do you do you want me to take the wall just to secure the gate? Should I should I take up the wall so I can secure the gate? Secure the gate. He says, "Oh, the north gate." He says, "Yes, go." He says, "You believe Edgar, you can do this?" Should I do it alone? Do you think I'll, I'll I need go. Edgar? You're the man in charge here. He says the alarm the alarm has been sounded. He says we are now we are now beyond the point of being able to pull this off safely. He says there is it it's happening. I'd now. keep Edgar on the ground. Look over there to the gate and I'll open that gate for you. We'll take out any man that fucking tries to close it. Okay. And Brent yells, uh, men, knock your arrow he says, draw your bows, knock your arrows. He says, "We must join or uh, we must join Black Cap on the front." And uh, the men begin doing that. The people are pretty scared. Like even though some of them are holding weapons, you can see that a small number of them also kind of like close in around the the bow wielding men of Brent, and uh, they begin like heading heading towards there. Uh, the guards are now. Storming you guys and uh, Daigle, you're free. You're free to move. There's like, I mean, there's nobody around you if you wanted to uh, head towards the wall. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure I can protect the gate to keep it open because they're probably going to close the gate with the alarm. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to make sure that it stays open. Um, so I, I, I head towards the gate. Is it the so the the gate the the crank? Is it a, on top or below? On top. It's on top. Okay, so I, I make my way to the top of the gate so I can basically defend uh, the crank um, if I okay. can. So. Is Edgar going with you? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna defend the bottom. The Edgar, what what can handle this? Am I going up or do, I'd like you to defend below if you can. Uh, you're fucking. Your eyes are weird. I don't trust you near me. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> I, I think I could do this on my own. Uh, there's already been. There might be a couple dead guards up there already uh, from the house in a boat. I'll just assist whoever has the top gate. I think you need to be with the man below if, if that's fine with you. Um, yeah. Uh, 
copy that. And I, I turn around. How many guards are down like near me? There are none near you guys right now because basically the way it is is uh, you, the, the center of town is like north of you guys. And in between you guys and the center of town is the entrance to the mine. A bunch of black or, like, or of tall black robed figures. Uh, oh, two, of, two of your friends and like all of those men and villagers. So there's like all the guards are kind of on the other side of town right now. And there's some that are still up on the walls that are like beginning to take notice of what's happening in the set in, you know, down below. OK, um, uh, actually, to the so to the west. That's where the guards are that are on the wall that you see. Um, and well, OK, so and these black I'm sorry, I'm, uh, the black uh, the black figures thing. Th those are people going into where black cap and them are some of them so there were five that just came up from underground with uh uh john and wilton um and then there was a bunch that just started bursting out of doors from like inside the city like near the center of the city who are now like joining ranks with black cap uh oh okay okay um I guess I'm just gonna start shit with guards. <laughs> I don't know if the fucking. I, I guess I'm. Oh, hold okay. on a second. So wait, there's guards. Guards pouring out too. Are all these cloaked people were people of black caps? Yeah, they're all on our side. Well, black cap, cap side. Also, in case I answer your question before, I, I've never, I've never tried Mount Forest. So I don't really know the properties. I just know stories. <clears throat> Been trying to get it this whole time, and finally got some. <laughs> so, yeah, I just want to know if it makes my like, if I took some, can I get some like enhanced tree, tree vibes or what? Yeah, I mean, I, well, I'm, I'm just saying that after all this is over, we should try it. And we should try it together. And then you should like you should try to push yourself past those uh, boundaries to try to get more answers from it after taking the drug. That's gonna be trippy. Wait, I think he needs to stay on the ground. You need to take care of the uh, the guards. Bun, they're not afraid. They're not afraid of weapons. They're not afraid of swords, arrows, no such. They're afraid of demons. And that's what you are, you scary motherfucker. So just get out there. Just shoot your teeth. It'll not be enough to fucking derail them. It'll be enough to scare them. Go ahead and do it. Right, I'll take well, care, I'll take care of the guards on the wall. All right. Well, then I I guess I'm gonna attack some guards. You know, try to make myself useful down here. Can I try okay. to scare them? Because I assume that I'm scary now that my eyes look like that. Uh, you are, man. Let me just tell you something real quick. Because Daigle actually just gave a really good speech, and uh, I think I'm gonna give you inspiration. An inspiration guy. So. Like, yeah, oh, me or him? Uh, uh, him, him. Oh, you, in, you oh, inspired shit. him. Uh, oh, okay, sick. I, 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 smile. Smile. <laughs> I, I wish it was mine, but cool. Yeah. I, I smile cool. and I fucking uh, and I nod my head and I fucking rush towards some guards. I'm gonna try to intimidate them. I'm gonna start like okay. laughing. So just to let you know, this is like across town where you guys are headed to the north wall, the north okay, gate. Yeah, okay, yeah. Like, okay. Well, yeah. I guess we'll run there then, right? Is that okay. Where we're going? Okay. Sweet. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, tell me about how you guys want to head there. What? Hold on. Sorry. I'm gonna go up the wall. So I'm just gonna make. Oh, you're just my gonna head straight to the wall and go up. Yeah. It. Um. I'll, I'll. I don't see. I don't know if it's better to head there straight or stealth my way up the the ladder. But I think with all the confusion going on, it's better just the rush. Um, in all the skirmish, you know. I think. I think I'll just rush up the ladder or whatever it is up the wall, the the stairs or whatever. Okay. This is a sweet baby. It is adorable. Did you say where you wanted to go? Did you want to go straight towards? I'm. I'm sorry. I, I got a little. Sorry. Uh, towards the, well, actually, I want to head towards the gate because I, I I want to defend the gate, make sure it stays open so they can't lock it. I know okay. there was a soldier fighting another soldier on the gate. I want to. There might be a couple other soldiers. That was the south uh, gate. Oh, south you gate. Wanna, is do that you want to go to the out? south gate? No, you guys are heading to the north gate. Oh shit. Well, I want to head towards the north gate and and maybe uh, conjoin with. I'm sure there, in case there's other soldiers that might be fighting for the cause, um, I want to make my way up there. Just kind of make sure that it doesn't stay locked. Um, gotcha. Okay. So, so you want to go on foot. You don't want to go on the wall and then run along the wall. Cause that's what I was trying to figure out. Are you trying oh, to like go yeah, straight yeah. there? Uh, on the oh, uh, the faster route would be straight. Would it be or no? 
Uh, that's it's... okay. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you do. Go ahead and do a perception check. Okay, dope. See if you can kind of like you know estimate it where you're at. Judge it. Yeah. <laughs> if I see a difference. Uh, yeah, you can't really seem to tell. You're 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 kind of like, oh man, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna go well, along the wall then. I guess that okay. might be the better bet. All right, sweet. Yeah, to get to the north gate, uh, you'd want to like run straight west to get to the wall, scale the wall, then go along the top. All right, that might Tight. even be the best by surprise if it anything. It's might. So. It's might. Now we need Edgar because Edgar's like with you right now. Um. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, Daigle is. <laughs> Wait. Daigle is taking off towards the western wall. He's going to scale the wall and then run towards the north gate. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, I guess I'm going to follow suit. I don't know. Hey, are there guards on? God damn, dude. Everything got fucking turned around again. It's okay. Um, Here, I'll, name, I'll, just, I'll give you a couple of routes to choose from, okay? All right. You could follow Daigle straight up the wall, climb the wall, and go with him along the wall to the top of the north gate. You could follow him to the wall and then walk around the outer edge of town, uh, you know, underneath the wall to, until you get to the north gate. Or you could take, uh, or you could run straight through town and try to avoid the battle and go straight towards the, the north gate on ground, which might be quicker and might not be quicker. It really depends. <laughs> it's, it's hard to gauge what's going on. There's like chaos. There's a battle starting right now. Okay. Daigle, wait. So Daigle told me in a speech the fight in the battle while he took care of the gate so he said all right so i'll just join i'll just yeah. join the battle i guess i ah, fucking i'll just join the battle you're scary yeah we'll see how <laughs> scary here in a minute. all right sweet so you run towards the center of town where uh wilton and uh john are to join the fight yeah I, i'm gonna try to scare some people if i can <laughs> okay all right excellent um so we'll return to you guys. Edgar is now like running across this way. Uh, Brent and the rest of the people are like approaching from behind. Daigle's running across town. And Daigle, let's just get a couple of rolls from you. I'll do one dex roll and then one stealth roll. Nice. Dex, nice. stealth. Both are great. Plus, yeah, I have plus six on uh, stealth and a plus two on dex. Okay, so you're dipping and dodging and rolling and fucking just like going through these alleys really cleanly, jumping over the fucking puddles of like human shit, um, and like you uh, you make it to the wall very quickly um, and unseen. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're, we're finish up with Daigle really quick. Now roll to uh, to climb the wall. Okay, yeah. So uh, well, yeah, even with just your dex, yeah, you begin scaling the wall. Um, it's going to take a little while. It's a 60 foot wall. So it's going to take a few turns to climb. So we'll go through combat for a minute. Um, going back, going back to the center of town. Um, you can hear the, uh, one of the guards yell, we're under siege. You said, call the men from the palace. Um, and you see a runner begin to like head away from the battle, like towards the palace north, uh, north in town. Can I shoot that bitch? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Open round right now. Go for it. <laughs> Not a okay. chance. Can I, sort of, am I with them right now? Did I, like, successfully run up to them? Yeah, you're up, you're up behind them now. So a uh, uh, black cap, like, looks over to you. I want to yell. I want to yell, like, oh, wait, it, never mind. If he's saying something. Yeah. Black cap looks over to you, and he, and he stares you in the eyes, and he says, you look useful. Get to work. I, I run up to some guards. I'm going to try to scare some of them. I start laughing. I'm just like, congratulations, boys. It's not every day you come face to face with a demon king. And I just start laughing. <laughs> and, I look at them, and I look at them with my clear black eyes. See if okay. I can strike fear in their heart. Because, I mean, alchemy, what, it, it's like, uh, it's like yeah. not very common, I guess. So I did, you want to use your, did you want to use your inspiration for this? Yeah. All right. Roll, uh, roll with advantage. Is that two? Yeah, two D twenty. Okay, I don't usually get to roll the two twenty. I see everybody else doing it. Oh boy, I get to join the party. God damn it! Oh, oh. <laughs> no, <sighs> Mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay. What is it? Well, is there any we're gonna. Add -ons to it? Uh, yeah, you would add. Uh, do you have intimidate? You don't have intimidation, do you? I don't. Okay, so yeah, you don't know. Nope. Damn. 
<laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, something catches in your throat a little bit while you're yelling, and it just doesn't come out as loud as you had hoped. Uh, oh, they don't seem to it. really <laughs> hear you. <laughs> if I'm hacking up along, I'm just like, oh, fuck it, and I'm going to throw a knife at one of them. <laughs> <laughs> your only <laughs> knife dude yeah throw it <laughs> guide my hand <laughs> you try yelling something they fucking <laughs> can't hear you okay <laughs> You're the that's, a, that's plus four right so uh yeah roll roll for damage roll a d4 hell yeah that's gonna hit yeah three plus one i think um Nice. Okay, so that's one of the cards. And let me highs or lows. Uh, lows. Okay, yeah. So it just it stabs the guy in the shoulder, and uh, yeah, he turns around. He turns around to face you, and he raises his battle axe above his hands, and you can see that the other men are like getting ready to charge, and they like storm forward, and there's just a big clash of like armed men clashing with these uh, these cloak dudes on the front lines, and you can see uh, Orin kind of like snakes his way around the side. He gestures towards John to follow him, and he's like walking around the left side of the. Uh, the the fight <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna follow closely and try to uh bring wilton and uh edgar if edgar's nearby i think i'm engaged in a battle axe combat <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's why i said if, if you're near I don't got know an you're axe and, yeah you guys aren't close enough in the fray okay uh, and uh well wilton's a little away from you too not too far but yeah you could probably call to him if you wanted to let's roll for initiative now battle is in yep so as long as nothing gets in your way uh daigle you are two turns away from the uh the the, the north gate dope gotcha okay <laughs> so yeah it's your turn you move you you uh you gain half your distance towards there with uh nothing in your way yeah Am I still remaining stealth, or if I use stealth, will I half my time? Yeah, it'll make it slower. Mm, I guess I'll just still rush a little bit. Okay. And now it's Wilton's turn. <clears throat> Can I, uh... Well, am I going with John? I guess. It's up to you. What are you doing, John? I'm following uh, Black Cat. Let's see oh, if you even notice him. Thank you, bitch. Okay. Roll the perception. Sorry. There's a lot going on out here. Okay, yeah. So you notice that uh, John and uh, and Black Cap are like kind of like moving around the other side. I'm just gonna stick with Edgar actually, get his back. Okay. Um, I'm gonna shoot the other guard that's standing next to him though. Bitch and roll it. Sick. Get that twenty. Okay, that's gonna Woo! hit. Who? 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 Roll that. Sorry. Roll that damage. Oh. <laughs> Roll that beautiful oh, beam footage. That was nice. <laughs> okay, so that that uh, that's the the battle axe guard you're shooting. That one yeah. next. Oh, I thought you were or shooting uh, the whoever one whoever I'm shooting. I don't know. I, I thought I, you killed one already. Yeah, kill the battle no, battle axe did. guy. He's no, the, yeah, the battle axe guy. All right, kill okay. the guy with retard strength first. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the, the arrow. The arrow flies into his ribs, and it seems to slow him down. Like, he seems a little fucked up, but he keeps moving forward. And uh, it, you hear him utter something about the saints. Um, and it is Edgar's turn. With their armor, is there neck meat showing? Neck meat. Oh, wait, it's not your turn yet, actually. I just realized, because he, he, go, he goes right before you. Sorry. Um, okay. so yeah, the guy, the guy runs up towards you with the battle axe and yeah, misses, misses terribly. Actually, you get an attack of opportunity. All right. Um, it, it, about the neck meat, is there any neck meat? Sticking out? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's wearing a hauberk. So there's like a very narrow area to get to, to the neck meats. Shit. Um, I want to pull, uh, since he like missed, uh, like as he missed, I want to try to pull, uh, Wilton arrow out of him and try to stab him with it okay nice um trying to get that yeah. neck meat. <laughs> get that neck meat though um <laughs> yeah roll an attack 14 nice. oh, okay yeah so you pull you pull the arrow out of him and roll a d4 you tear some flesh as you pull the arrow out of him and uh blood squirts out of the wound and he uh 
He shrieks a little bit. Yeah. We'll see. And it's your turn. You aren't able to stab him though. Sorry, but okay. you now have oh. the you now have the arrow in your hand. You, oh, okay. It, so is it? It's my my turn. Yes, you your turn. Oh, oh, okay. Well then, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, fuck my ass. What do I want to do? <laughs> Can I attempt to step back and throw the arrow at him, uh, knife style? Like I went with <laughs> oh my God. Knife. <laughs> yeah, you can. Um, right, oh, you it. can. You're actually good with throwing yeah. weapons. Um, yeah, that's why. That's why I'm doing all the throw. Yeah. Not good enough though. All right, you step back and you throw that. You throw the arrow at him, and uh, you know exactly what happens when a person throws an arrow at another person <laughs> happens. And he bounces. bounces. Do I get a bounces. plus with throwing stuff? It probably not high enough though. Yeah, you get plus five like all together, so it'd be eleven. Yeah, so it's eleven. Yeah, so it's yeah. Um, all right, all right. John's turn. Um, I, John. is there anyone near me other than uh, God. Black Cap? Uh, Black God Cap is God. is is leading you into a building next to the battle with a big broken door that you can okay. tell that some that like uh, you know somebody burst out of, and uh, inside here there's a bunch of sacks of uh food and uh he he goes in and he, j he just pulls out a knife like kind of like nonchalantly and like slits open one of the bags and reaches in and pulls out a carrot and then like uh, lifts up his mask and you can see a horribly burnt face but damn am amidst all these like terrible kind of like chemical burns and black marks and uh in like white marks and missing skin and like scrunched flesh you can see that there are these two bright green eyes the eyes of your brother Orin. Yeah. and he takes a bite of the carrot and he said and he speaks to you with his mouth full and he's just like so it's been a long time brother yeah it has and we both look like we picked up quite a few scars yeah, he says, yeah, you look like shit. You're one to talk. <laughs> the fuck happened to your face? <laughs> he said, so he looks, he looks at you and he says, Hobart, huh? Yeah, what's your problem with him? You seem pretty angry when, well, my friend Daigle accused you of being Hobart. He says, me and Hobart are enemies. Yeah, but why? I mean, I thought you were dead this whole time. Yeah. You've obviously says, been on says, you know how you know how it was in our family. Our branch was treated like shit. He says nobody ever even treated us like we were real Gilmores. That's all. That's all. You, that's all you wanted. I never wanted any of that. You know that. I didn't care. He says, "Yeah, I wanted out of that. I don't. You don't even know. I wasn't. The only reason I survived Gilmore's keep burning down was because I wasn't there. I was working as a butcher." I was in town. He said, I heard about that. He said, but I also heard that the, uh, that that other branch of the Gilmores who, uh, lived in the keep there, they all died except for the daughter. <laughs> she lived? And, and fuck them. They deserve it. I wish she was dead too. I didn't know anybody else lived other than, well, us that you met. He says, it seems like We've ended up on very different paths. He said, you're a, uh, he says, I don't know what to do here. He says, you're, you're my brother. Yet you work for my enemy. And here I am starting an empire. Which you've always wanted. Yeah. But you don't know who I'm working for. I could be working for Hobart, but I'm working for myself. Which is See? why I, I'm, helping you guys get people out of town and not doing the quest that I was assigned. He looks you in the eyes and he says, I don't want any bad blood between us, brother. He says, you're the only member of my family I've ever cared about. Our parents were weak. And... You were the only one who ever understood me. He says, but I have things that I need to do. He says, so I'll give you this piece of advice. Stay far away from the north. The hell's happening to the north? 
He says, don't follow us when we go. Well, then. I guess I got a lot to think about then. He says, I can, that's all I can say for now. He says, uh, and watch that, watch that Wilton guy. He says, I'm not sure what to think of these anomalies just yet. He says, but they, they may have great, uh, they might have great, what the fuck's the word for it? They might have great importance in my research. He says, this may be the last time we speak, brother. If you have anything else to say, say it now. <laughs> I need I need the truth. Did you burn down Gilmore's? Was that are you telling the truth about you know the attack? I don't care if it's a yes or no, we're walking away from this. He says I didn't do it, but I could have stopped it. And uh he walks out of the room or begins walking towards the door. I guess uh, I just look down dejected and like I don't know I don't know what to what to think I'm at a loss for words and I just walk out somewhat solemn behind him going to okay. rejoin the battle I guess okay yeah as you walk out through the door uh, <clears throat> immediately like uh, oh you can see there's like a, one of the big guys get, is like uh, kind of like knocked backwards there's a bunch of guards have leapt on him with uh, spears and he gets in between you and your brother and as the thing like struggles up from or as the guy in the cloak like struggles up from the ground his mask falls off you can see his eyeless face and his scarred body and uh you can see him like he, as he stands up behind him. Your brother is gone. He's disappeared. Black cap, you pig man, bitch, motherfucker. <laughs>